it's Cam again with another video for OurDigitalPaint.com, now on episode 19, and introducing you to studies. Uh, this video I'll be giving suggestions for studies, but also this is somewhat of a uh, lead up to some actual study time lapse vids that I'll be narrating and going through the process of how I do them. So studies are an important part of learning and improving your skills. Uh, there's many different types, whether it be you're doing master studies, photo studies, life studies, so forth. Uh, here you can see me going through examples of studies I've done as well. Uh, just kind of still lifes, painting fruit and different objects. So learning a lot about seeing colour, different forms, materials. So when doing studies, I just suggest you try to vary the materials that you paint so that you get an understanding of their properties and uh, why things look the way they do. You know, what, what are the qualities of a rock that makes it look different from, say, metal and things. So you'll find out things about value and contrast and texture. And studies obviously aren't limited to the digital realm, so seeing some sketches I did of the aquarium there with pen and ink. And this is a master study. This is a master study from life actually. I went to the art gallery and took my laptop and painted this piece. This is by Frederick Layden. This is a master study but from a photo great resource for finding good master study uh, images is from Art Renewal and another benefit of doing these master studies is there'll be a lot of different marks that you'll see in their work and if you're trying to achieve that same painterly quality um, it's a good idea to make some custom brushes so I'd say half of the regular set of brushes that I use I developed when trying to solve different problems that I saw in master studies or master works that I was trying to uh, study from. Uh, this is an example of a study from a movie still, a Donnie Yen film. So movie stills are a great way of learning lighting and composition since they're very deliberate about those things. This is Jack Sparrow. I actually painted this one after doing a master study, so I went straight from doing a, master, a sergeant study and then into a photo study, so that way I was able to apply what I learnt from the master study into the photo, and um, I learnt heaps by seeing how I can use my brush economy better and things. This one, you can actually see the time lapse of if you check back in my old videos. This is a self-portrait uh, showing, going through some self-portraits that I did. Uh, these are a great way to learn and you've always heard yourself as a model. So you can see improvement from there. That's probably over a period of a year with those ones. Uh, some more sketches. This is Rockwell. Since drawing is the foundation of painting, it's a good idea to do a lot of traditional drawing as well, whether it be sketchbook or anything, just to get your draftmanship up. And this is another study, the one and only silent piece I've ever seen uh, that I did with a sketch at the art gallery. So I hope you learn a bit. Uh, and as I said, I'll be actually sh showing and demonstrating the process of me doing studies, whereas this one is more showing examples of and suggestions of studies you can do yourself, such as painting cats. Who doesn't like painting cats? Alright, thanks for watching.